Let's start. The Pine script is going places. Now they have included a polyline feature in the Pine script language. Using the polyline, we can draw different and complex geometrical shapes on the chart which will connect various candle coordinates. What I am going to do is, I am going to get the coordinates of the high and low points of this candle, which is the first candle of the day's session. And then I'm going to get the coordinates of this second last candle on the chart. Why the second last candle? Because that is the latest confirmed closed candle on the chart. So once I get these three coordinates, I'm going to draw the polylines connecting them. Let's see how to do that. This is an indicator function with the name, polyline. First, we create some variables, to store the x and y coordinates of the three points, from which we will draw the polylines. First, we get the bar index and high value of the first session candle of the day. Then, we get the bar index and close value of the second last candle on the chart. And then, we get the bar index and low value of the first session candle of the day. Once we get the coordinates, we will convert them into points like this, using the chart.point.from dot dot from the index function. Then, we will put all the three points in an array. And finally, we will use the polyline.new function. The first argument of this function is the array of points. The second argument is the line color. The third argument is the fill color. The fourth argument is the line style. We have used the dotted line style. The fifth argument is the line width. The sixth argument is the curved attribute. I have kept the value to false. If the value is kept true, then the polylines would be curved in nature. The last argument is the closed attribute. I have kept the value to false. If the value is kept true, then, the starting and ending point of the polylines would be connected. We will see these last two arguments in detail ahead. So our indicator is ready. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see, we have polylines drawn connecting the high and low points of this candle. And the close point of this candle. The line style is dotted. Now, let's make the curved attribute true. Let's see the chart again. As you can see, the earlier pointy triangle is now curved in nature. Now, let's make the closed attribute true. Let's see the chart again. Now we can see that, the polylines have connected themselves from the starting point to the ending point and created a loop. Now, let's create another polyline for fun. Here I have used the polyline.new function. All the attributes are the same as before. The color is set to red now. And I have not included the curved and closed arguments anymore. Let's see the result. Looks cool, right? You may draw various such shapes by tapping more and more coordinates of the various candles. Only the sky is the limit to the imagination. So that's it. That's how we can draw polylines in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.